Yo guys, and welcome back to Anthony's Espresso Equipment. And today we are checking out the Aria MN, not the top model, but the MN stainless steel with the black wooden cutouts in it. Absolutely gorgeous machine. I absolutely love this. Nice size, not too big like some of the other Bezeras as well. This is a beautiful machine. So we've got Shepard in the house today to help us out and make some Americanos and a latte as well. So very excited to check that out. Try all these amazing features. Uh, and then we also have the Chiado E6P grinder as well, which is a fantastic grinder. Both of these machines are on sale right now. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, head over to our website and do that now. So let's get right into this video. Let's talk about some of the features for this machine, what you're gonna get out of it, including the stainless steel frame, the cup warmer, and the E61 group head. So let's get right into the video. So as I said before, this has a stainless steel frame, which is stunning it's it's beautiful um, now not all of these models are the exact same there are a handful of different versions of this machine you know the same internal components but they are all built quite differently on the exterior so if you're looking for a bit more customization we have the black exterior with the the brown wood inserts as well which is gorgeous i think that's my favorite but that was brand new so we figured we'd actually use our demo one to make it a little bit easier to set this bad boy up so along with that we also have a three liter water tank in this machine at the back all you have to do pop this off water tanks right there and we have our heat exchanger which is dead center in this machine this is a heat exchanging machine which means you are going to be able to do steam and pull your shot of espresso at the exact same time so we will see that when Shepard is doing the latte we can pull our shot of espresso and steam at the same time but you also get instant steaming with this machine so very important to note that you are going to be getting perfect high quality full steam power every single time it does not have to go back through like a dual boiler would but this also gives you that option because it's just simply cooling or sorry heating up the water that's coming right out of the water reservoir into the group head and that's how you get your perfect shot of espresso one little other feature to note on this machine is just how your wands and everything are these are nice and sturdy and stiff, which is great to see. And then we have dual pressure gauges. So it's one gauge. Sometimes we get two gauges, but on this one, we actually have one gauge with different dials on each side on the top and bottom. So that's gonna give our pressure for our steam one, for our water, and then for our group head as well. So that's all going to be right down here. There's no PID on this machine, but it is gorgeous and it is still very easy to read in a sleek inserted form factor on the Aria MN. So we've kind of talked about a handful of the features and like I said, we're gonna be able to test some of these features out for you right now. So without further ado, let's get right into making some delicious drinks. I will start with an espresso with this machine. Today's recipe, we are using a preset uh, grind size uh, of 19 grams of that uh, for the espresso. And as for the espresso, I am using a bottomless uh, pot of filter. So in this way, the extraction can be a little bit better. So after I grind the coffee, I will use a leveler to level the coffee ground and then I tamper. After tamping, I put it onto the group head and start brewing. Yes, it is. And look at the crema. It gets uh, produced from the machine. It is very nice. The second drink I'm going to make is an Americano. Same with the espresso. I'm using a double shot 19 grams of coffee. After the coffee is grinded, I will use the leveler to level the surface and temp. You see, I'm not pressing very hard just to have all the 
coffee grounds compress and make a very nice surface as well as tight on the pot of filter. Then I will put in the regular pad and start brewing the coffee. So using the area to make an Americano will be very easy. You just turn on the hot water. And there we have it. Wow. The first drink I'm making today will be a latte. So I will just pour out the milk first and then grind the coffee. I'm using the same recipe as the last two drinks. It will be 19 grams. So after I grind the coffee, I will do the same routine of leveling the coffee. At the same time, I will start steaming. I'll purge first and then Okay, so we've got some lovely drinks that are now done and delicious. I mean, I, I'm not a huge latte drinker, but that looks amazing. Uh, obviously, we've made some crazy good drinks, all formulated properly with the right grinder too. So if you are buying a machine like this, you gotta have the right grinder. Always check out our page, make sure you look on there. We always have some combo deals going on if you want to get a set like this for your home setup, which would be incredible. I would love to have one of these. So if you did enjoy this video and you want another shot of espresso, make sure to follow, like, and subscribe to our channel. We have a ton more videos on the way in the next couple of months. We're banging out videos right now. So stay tuned for everything that we have coming up. And if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like, comment what your favorite espresso-based drink is, and we will see you guys next time. Have a great day.